So, guys, uh, I got hacked, like, for real. These hackers got full access to my Fortnite account and, more importantly, all my skins. If they delete my most OG skins, they cannot return. But how did this all happen and do I still have my rare skins? Before I log in and see what damage they've done, let me explain how this all happened. It all started off with a random tweet from a fan saying that my PSN account had been compromised. I quickly decided to log in and see if I could get access or not, but my password wasn't working. And at this point, I still started to panic. Taking a closer look at the tweet, I could see that the hackers were already messing with my account. They changed my name, changed my bio and description. And the crazy thing is, if this fan didn't tweet me this and hadn't noticed it, I would never have known that I'd been hacked. Well, at least not for a few minutes. Because what I didn't realize is that if they have access to my PSN, they can log in and also get full access to my Fortnite account. And these hackers didn't try to hide the fact that they'd taken it over, as the first thing they did was log in and start spam inviting all the big streamers on my friends list. They were inviting them over and over, trying to get them to join their party. Nick A30 was actually live as this was happening, and it's safe to say he was really confused. All right. Wait, why does Ali keep inviting me? I don't understand. Like, how can we just send a message to me? I don't know what he wants. I don't know if he's doing it, but like, what the heck? Bro, why is he spamming me? I'm so confused. His chat actually started spamming him, letting him know that my account was probably hacked. And at that point, Nick realized that something was definitely wrong. Oh, he got hacked. Oh! Are you sure, LeBron? How do you know? I'll message him if so. Nick kindly DM'd me to let me know what was happening. It was only at this point that I realized the hacker was now in my Fortnite account. I decided to put out a tweet letting people know that I'd been hacked just in case other weird stuff was happening. And it turned out that Nick wasn't the only one getting invites. Party invite from XX Alley dash A XX. Is that the real what Alley X? I'm so confused. Why does he have PlayStation? Yeah, Cypher, Courage, look, I apologize that I never invite anyone to play games with me. If it's that weird that I'm inviting them to play Fortnite, that they think I've been hacked, I need to play some games with them more often. But more importantly, off the back of that tweet, people let me know a really valuable piece of information. A piece of information that could actually kick the hackers off my Fortnite account. Basically, your Epic Games account can be connected to lots of different networks for all the accounts to be tied together. What I could do was log into my Epic Games account which thankfully I still have full access to, and disconnect it from my PSN account. Now, at this point, I had no idea what they'd done beyond just spamming streamers with invites. Had they managed to refund any of my really rare skins? Had they deleted friends off my friends list? Had they messed up all of my settings? Well, the good news is I now have regained access to my PSN account, thanks to PlayStation support. As I log back into my Fortnite account through my PlayStation for the first time since being hacked, there are five skins that I really want to make sure have not been removed moved or compromised. And once I know all five of these skins are okay and everything else is in order, I'll finally be able to relax. I think this is working. Press X. Logging in. What am I about to find? Let's see. I'm pretty sure I've already got the battle pass. We are in and already one of the five skins that I was most worried about. Oh, we can tick off the list as apparently the skin I'm currently rocking is the Renegade Raider. That was definitely not the skin I had on before. I always use my Icon Alley A skin and the game mode selected doesn't even exist. Why am I trying to select a game? Maybe the hacker was playing a game that since has literally been removed from Fortnite because nothing is appearing in that box. I haven't ever seen that before. What would have been amazing is if they decide to log in and complete all of the challenges for me. We are slowly making our way through the survivor medal for this season but i don't think that person made any progress for me at all that would have been nice locker this is what we want to check if we go in they have made a weirdly sort of og vibe locker with the renegade raider deadpool katana back bling it's quite a sick combo to be fair and the merry mint axe an axe that i believe has only ever been available through a physical card that you have to get hey but they did keep my alley a glider on okay you know what it's not a bad combination but they have messed with stuff. I go to load. I may have to 
blur this. They have changed the names of a lot of my skin presets, but I'm not seeing any of the other super OG skins on there at all. So far, crossing all my fingers, this hacker doesn't seem like the nastiest person in the world, but I still need to double check everything to be sure. This person was kind enough to leave code Ali in the item shop. That is very much appreciated. But if I go into the settings, then all the way across to the end, this is the button that scares me. Recent purchases. If any of the tokens within the returns section of this option have been used, any of my skins could have gone. Like literally just... Bam, poof, off my account. And that scares the poop out of me. Now, look, not everyone in the world is going to have this issue. But one thing that I genuinely have is adding people on my account is so hard. Because over the years, so many people have tried to add me. Adding new people is tough. Nick A30 is still on there. Shout out Nick A30. Ninja is still on there. Lachlan, Mustard, Tico, Mini Minter, Cypher, Chica, Laserbeam. Booger is still on there. I don't think anyone's been deleted. My friends list still looks like it's got a lot of streamers on there. You know what I'm not seeing? Courage. Maybe the hacker just doesn't like Courage because he's not my friend this anymore. Now, I need to jump into a game quickly to see if any of my controls have been messed up. Resetting them will be so... Such a pain. All right, I'm just gonna jump and see what happens when I land. Oh, bro, definitely this is this is not normal. Okay, that seems okay. My up on the D-pad button is normally to sprint. Okay, opening chest is Ooh, that's some good loot. Is right. Pulling out my picks is normally left on the D-pad, but it is tagging people. Maybe this person did just decide to mess with me and have a few games on my account. Look, let's not pretend I actually do ever build, really. But it looks like building's okay. There are bots in this game. And your boy's still got it. We can take people down. All right, this is a little bit annoying. I am going to have to go ahead and mess around in my settings a little bit because this ain't right. But little tweaks to this are nowhere near as bad as potentially losing my skins. This is where things are important. Now, the five skins I've listed started off with the Renegade Raider, but those aren't all of them. There are some that are considered the most OG skins in the game. At least for some of their edit styles. <gasps> and the first one is there. The Skull Trooper. And I am seeing the edit style that I want to see. The purple glow. You know what I've never understood is the fact that all five of the Skull Trooper style images are in the same stance. But the purple one's just like a really weird, super close picture of his head. But this skin is mega OG. Only available to those that bought this skin during the very first Halloween item shop update. Back in 2017, I believe. So that's two out of five. That are okay, thank goodness. Back to the search menu. And in very similar form, another Halloween... Oh my gosh, I almost freaked out for a second there. I thought nothing was appearing. Another Halloween item shop update. It is, of course, the Ghoul Trooper. See, all the Ghoul Trooper edit styles here are the same picture. I don't know why this Ghoul Trooper's got such a dorky picture. Now, this may be the most obnoxiously bright-colored pink and blue skin ever. But I gotta admit, like, out of all of these styles, the OG one's like really cool I, I do love the pink one like it's just so sick three out of five of my most rare skins are okay i'm sweating a little less right now but things aren't quite over one of the most expensive and one of the original mega rare skins everyone wanted back in the day was the galaxy skin the very first galaxy collab skin and it's there it is there this skin can't even be acquired anymore i'm pretty sure you needed a samsung galaxy phone and since then we've obviously had more the galaxy scout galaxy crossfade like even galaxy skins coming to the item shop now i do have loads of phone specific and console specific specific exclusive skins but this one out of all of them represents like the most og and the most expensive and rare one so i'm glad that it's there now number five on my list and bear in mind i have like over a thousand skins is of course the iconic travis scott skin now after seeing if this is there or not i need to do another test it is there Woo! astro jack travis scott by the way, Fortnite have said that there could be a chance that this skin returns. It's actually not down to Epic Games deciding whether or not it returns. But actually, Travis Scott himself. This represents all of the super rare icon skins. Or just skins that came out once and people thought would return, but never did. Meaning five out of the skins that I picked are there. But I do have almost 1,600 skins. Holy cow, that is a lot of skins. And the biggest and most important check to eliminate the fact that none of my other skins have gone come from going going over to the settings tab and checking our returns and purchases. If we click through here and see three refund tickets are available, that means none have been
being used and my skins are safe. But if we only see two, one, or even zero refund tickets, that means up to three skins from my account could be gone. So let's see what's happened. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what I'm looking for. Three return tickets available, meaning none have been used, meaning all of my skins are safe and sound with only a little bit of tinkering done to my account from the hacker. Guys, a big thank you to everyone that made me aware of the fact that I've been hacked. Thank you, hacker, for not actually deleting my skins, although you did mess with things a little bit. If you actually want to see me logging into all my other Fortnite accounts that I forgot I even had, click over here to see me find some insanely rare skins on my wife's accounts and my old accounts. You don't want to miss it, so I'll see you over there. My account is back. We're good to go.